<laughs> Already you can tell it's creepy pop is gonna be creepy. Hmm. Yeah, that was a good one guys. I know, wow. I usually don't say that. How's it going? Hey guys, Luigi Fan here, and welcome to Creepy Pasta with Luigi Fan or Creepy Pasta or whatever you want to call it, because I don't care what you call it because it's not that important. It's only for every Sunday. Maybe not even soon. Maybe I'll just do it whenever I want because I'm starting to get into this whole horror, horror horror thing it's um much more entertaining than the usual games i play anyway today i want to discuss um lts or lavender town syndrome or lavender town suicide or lavender town mental illness thing that happened to children under the age of 15 i think i'm not sure but anyway let's get on with the show that was my version of a sentence. I have to count how many words are actually in it, or else I get confused. Alright, well the story goes that in the original beta release of Japanese Pokemon Red and Green, I think. Let me check real quick. Yes, Red and Green, um, back in February 27th, 1996. Lavender Town's um, theme song had these really, really, really high frequencies. And apparently it would give a bunch of people headaches. As a matter of fact, it's said that the person that made the song actually got goosebumps while listening to it for the very first time after he was done composing it, but didn't think anything of it at the time. This was a problem when it first was released, because Pokemon, you know, directed as a kid's audience. Well, not originally but it was sooner or later directed towards kids, and a bunch of kids bought the game. So they got the game, and they played around for a little bit, and then they got to Lavender Town, where they'd hear this song. After hearing the song, not only would they suffer from a major headache, but they would also go crazy. Um, they would hear... They would see things, they would hear things, the song would play over and over in their head, and in severe cases, some children would even kill themselves. Now, I have two versions of the song on my computer. The original, actual theme from the Japanese game, and the so-called original beta. Now, if you go back to my previous Creepypasta episode, you'll see that I actually listened to the Lavender Town song at full 100 blast. At the end, the song actually played for 15 minutes. It gave me a major headache, and I had to take an ibuprofen after listening to it. No side effects. But um, since I recently got the supposed actual beta theme from the game, I decided maybe I'd listen to it. But first, let's go a little more into detail of the story. I'm actually going to read it from the Creepypasta wiki right here. The Lavender Town Syndrome, also known as Lavender Town Tone, or Lavender Town Suicides, was a peak in suicides that and illnesses of children between the ages of 7 and 12 shortly after the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan back in February 17, 27th, sorry, 1996. Rumor, rumors say that these suicides and illnesses only occur after children playing the game reached Lavender Town, whose theme music had extremely high frequencies. That study... And studies show that only children and young teens can hear, since their, tear, since their tears, ears are more sensible. Due to Lavender Town tone, at least 200 children supposedly committed suicide, and that's a lot of children, and more and more developed illnesses and afflictions. The children who committed suicide usually did so by hanging or jumping from high heights. High heights. You know what I mean. Those who did not, uh, those who did not act irrationally complained of severe headaches after listening to the theme song. Yeah, I had that. Ono Lavender Town now sounds differently depending on the game. This mass hysteria was caused by the first Pokemon game release. After the Lavender Town incident, the programs, programmers had fixed Lavender Town's theme music to have a lower frequency. And since, and since children were no longer afflicted by it, or affected, not afflicted. One video appeared in 2010 using special software to analyze the audio of Lavender Town's music. When played, the software created images of the unknown near the end of the audio. 
This raised controversy, since the Unknown didn't appear into the second generation games, Silver, Gold, and Crystal. The Unknown translated to Leave Now. There is also the said beta version of Lavender Town. This is the Pocket Monsters. It's a Steve video. Um, the Leave Now and the Unknown... The unknown leave now thing and the ghost thing and the frequencies has been disproven. I've actually done this myself. It's fake. Don't believe that. I personally have done it on two frequency testers. I don't I don't remember what they were called. I don't know what they're called. But nothing showed up. Um I didn't try the actual beta one though. The supposed actual beta one though. Um I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that out. But anyway, I think right about now is a good time to listen to the song. What do you guys say? Let's say let's do it. First, wait, no, not the actual song, the supposed beta. All right, I'll listen to the actual song. If you want to see that, watch the last creepypasta episode. It'll be um somewhere over there in the suggestions or wherever YouTube put it. Um, in the future, maybe it's there or there, or. There or there or there or there. I don't know, YouTube just keeps changing their site. Alright, so I set up Bandicam. Now let's go to my comp screen so you can see that I have everything set up and everything else. Off we go! Alright, um, just so you can hear my voice, I'm in my reaction to the song, I've turned off all my computer audio on Bandicam, but I do have it all, all audio up. I have it on what now? S let's make it 54. I don't know. I don't want to make it too high. And I have it right here. Uh, the audio on here is all the way up at 100. So yeah, maybe you'll even hear it through the headphones. I don't know. Let's play it. As a matter of fact, let's change this to 100. So far, I got a headache. Ow. Already. And it's only, um, 27 minutes in the song. 27 minutes, 27 seconds. Dun, 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 da, 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 dun, 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 da, 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 dun, 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 da, 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 <laughs> Whoa, um, this is giving me goosebumps. Um, stop. Singing calms me down, do No. It keeps going on. It plays three times, I think. Oh god. If I die, um, love you guys. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, it's, 
my eyes are watering. Like, I'm not even joking. My eyes are watering. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I just thought I could do this now. I just realized at the last moment, face cam. No! I don't like this. It's not the best song. <laughs> it hurts. That was beautiful. Let's take another picture. Beautiful. Well, it's over. <sighs> um, I can barely hear myself talk. That's sad. That is really sad. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this before I get to it. <sighs> full screen of my face. Well, I've listened to both Lavender Town themes, the supposed Lavender Town themes, I should say, the original one, and the supposed. Why did I, what, what? I don't know, I'm confusing myself. Anyway, um, other than a migraine and some goosebumps and some watery eyes, that's all I got, and I'm only 12, which means I'm completely eligible to get Lavender Town Syndrome by listening to that song, and I've listened to that song twice. First time I heard it and recorded myself, um, the song played in my head a couple times after, for about an hour, but that's about it, in fact, it still plays sometimes, and it's weird. That's about it, like, it's just stuck in my head, that's all. I heard it's one of the side effects, but that's just because the song's very repetitive. Um, so, no Lavender Town Syndrome, and I've done this twice already, which means it's pretty much disproven. It can't exist. It, well, it can exist in some forms. 90% of those side effects cannot exist, but some of those side effects can, in fact, happen just by listening to that song. Not suicide, not going crazy, emotional change is possible, um, getting it stuck in your head is possible, there's a lot of possibilities, I mean, if you look it up, you can basically see what I'm talking about, I don't know what you would search, but you would search something preferably, I don't know, you don't type in blank stuff to Google, do you, or Bing, do you use Bing, I don't know, I don't use Bing, wait, do I? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Luigi Fan 1632. 
I got a migraine. Peace. Oh. And creepy pastas. <laughs>